So we're gonna unbox all of this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. I said I was coming back and I'm back. Okay, so new videos every Sunday. Make sure that you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin and you know how to spell Coco. Uh, once I get to 50K subscribers, I'm giving away some money and some access to my Patreon. So make sure that you are thumbs up in this video, your post notifications are turned on, and that you are commenting down below because I do see your comments. And don't forget to go subscribe to my Patreon if you too would like to know how I meet my sugar daddies, okay? I have posted about Bumble, Twitter, you name it. Go on my Patreon and sign up if you are serious. Because when I told you guys that I wasn't looking for petty cash, you thought I was playing. <laughs> you thought I was playing. I, from the beginning when I started this channel, I said, I want real sugar baby experience. Like I want to be treated with royalty. And honestly, lately that's, that's what has been going on. Your girl has been living in a fairy tale land and she is just floating on air and life has just been amazing. Okay? Amazing. I don't know. Okay. It was about time. <laughs> it was about time. I mean, I hit big all the time, but like no man has ever gone to this extent to gift me stuff as this man so with that being said <laughs> we are starting this vlog with a unboxing of one of my gifts I just came so after my shopping in new york we went to van cleef um and you guys saw that well you guys weren't with me i didn't take you guys in the van cleef store but you guys saw my unboxing at the end of my New York City vlog. Um, and so when I want to say two days when I got back home um, after that shopping spree, he sent me a picture of this Van Cleef bracelet and basically told me that he thinks it would look perfect on me. So he got them to send it to me. It took like a month, um, three weeks. It took like three weeks simply because um, it's very expensive, <laughs> like very expensive. Um, and then they have to order it. So he had to put like 10% down, have them order it, have it shipped to uh, the New York City Van Cleef, um, and then have the ladies, the sales associate, who I actually communicated, like, you know, I told her what he was basically saying. He didn't communicate with them. Um, so she told me on Friday that it was coming a Monday because they finally got it. So we're going to do a unboxing. I'm going to try to set you guys up in a way that I can also do my reel because <laughs> I want to do a reel for the gram. It's not going to be perfect for you guys, but you guys will see me unbox it. Okay. Get my address there so my bracelet and then they sent me a candle so cute okay this is my bracelet i will leave the exact name of the bracelet um down in the description or you guys can always go on the Van Cleef website and uh, find out how much this bracelet is. Okay. But it is so pretty. 
Now I have to figure out how do you put it on? <laughs> how do you put it on is the question. Cause, oh, okay, I think I figured it out. Okay. Boom. And then you lock it, wow. So this is what it looks like with my other bracelets. This though, guys, look at my bracelet. I don't know how I got this lucky. I don't know. I don't know, but it is so pretty. It's giving a goddess vibes, princess vibes, spoiled, like what? This is what it looks like. I would take my other bracelets off, but um, you guys know with the love bracelet, you kind of need someone here to help you put it back on, so I'm not taking it off. But yeah, guys, this is my bracelet. I waited three weeks for it. It finally came. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. But if you know how much this bracelet cost, <laughs> if you know how much this bracelet cost, I will leave the link of the Van Cleef um, uh, site in the description so that you guys can go and check it out. But the girls that get it, get it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to my sister's um for a little bit so let me get out of this house i just wanted to show you guys my bracelet put it on go hang out strap my stuff strap my stuff um but yeah let me go get with my sister and i will see you guys in a second because we're gonna do a little bit of freestyling today <laughs> So it is Wednesday, May 18th. It is 3.08 in the afternoon. Um, I literally just got back from Chicago uh, to see Birkin Daddy. He had a meeting in Chicago and then he flew me to him to hang out for the day. So I was literally in Chicago for 12 hours um, and I flew back this morning and I will insert our dinner and you know all of that stuff because my outfit was cute i will insert that here um and then come back so enjoy <laughs> took me to I think it's called Gibson's it's supposed to be like a famous famous steakhouse in Chicago because apparently Chicago is famous for its steak they bring out the steak to you like raw and then you like pick the kind of steak that you want and all of that stuff they even bring out like crab legs um, 
yeah and then they make you pick what you want they explain the type of steak and all of that stuff so that was really fun we got some champagne we had dinner he took some pictures of me it was a good time um, and then you know obviously we stayed the night together and then I woke up this morning took my flight back to Boston um, and then he's still in Chicago he has some meetings and stuff like that but it was a good time um, I forgot my camera at home so I vlogged on my phone so that's why I really didn't vlog at all yesterday because I was obviously traveling and then I forgot my camera and then so I just used my phone did the dinner and uh, that was about it. Um, it was a little short, you know, get together. But something exciting happened as soon as I got home. Well, actually, I kind of knew it was happening yesterday on my way out. I was super excited, but I didn't know for sure, for sure. Um, so this morning, I got something delivered in the mail. And it's an orange box. And it's an orange box. I told you guys that I had asked him for brand new Birkins or Kelly because all of my other bags, as you guys know, are pre-loved. So my three um, bags that I have from Hermes are pre-loved. So my Kelly and my two Birkins. And I told him that I wanted a new one because I've been obviously working. Um, actually, I'm supposed to be on my way to the Hermes store right now, but I quickly want to do this. Um, because I want to take the bag with me. Duh. That's why I have brown. Um, but I uh, kind of told him that I wanted a brand new Kelly or Birkin. And then he asked me to send like what color I was looking for and all of that stuff. I was like, I was wondering if you have any connections. And of course, he did. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, I told you guys that I had either a Birkin or a Kelly come in. I actually asked him for two because he said I could get um, two if I wanted. So this is the first one. I don't know if another one's coming, but either way, <laughs> either way, I got a new bag. So we're going to unbox her. And yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys don't even know so I'm gonna quickly do this unboxing because I need to go pick up my blanket and my pillow for my bedroom um, you know and I'm trying to keep keep going to Hermes keep buying stuff and hopefully one day they will personally offer me a bag um, and I would appreciate it um, but the urge is really not there anymore because I already got I got a brand new one right here so the urge isn't really there so I can wait a year I could keep waiting until I can personally be offered one, but until then, hi right, guys. So I just came out of the Hermes store. You guys know that I can't film in there. I have to tell you guys all the time, but I got my stuff back there and I put them or my uh, sales associate put them in a all white bag because I have two big bags full of stuff. And she was worried that I was gonna, cause I had to walk over to my car. She was worried that, um, you know, someone might just rob me or something. <laughs> so we just put them in a plain white bag to protect myself. Okay. Anyways, I'm with TD now. And so we're gonna go grab a quick cocktail cause it's really, really nice outside. And so we're gonna grab a cocktail and then we're gonna go home. And then we're just gonna spend the day together. Um, he went and picked up Jamaican food for me, so that's what's for dinner. <laughs> On my uh, YouTube, I only eat oysters, Jamaican food. <laughs> oysters, Jamaican food. Oh, my sister actually made me some ekwang. If you're Cameroonian, you know what I'm talking about. Ekwang, okay. So she made me some, so there's some of that in the house too. Oh, I should text her. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm super excited. I will show you guys all of the stuff that I got from Hermes once I get home. I was gonna do like a whole Hermes unboxing, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. Or maybe I really should still do it. Huh? Yeah, I'll still do it. I think I'll do an Hermes unboxing video of its own because I really just got some really, really nice things. Um, but some of you, you guys already know, the pillow, the blanket, but I'm gonna do another one. But yeah, so let's go get a cocktail somewhere. <laughs> So it is at 7 
11.02 p.m. on Thursday, uh, May 19th. And as you can see, I'm starting the day, well, I'm vlogging very late in the day um, because um, I kind of had like a, I was hanging out with Tattoo Daddy last night, so you guys know that because you guys, you know, saw that me and him had, you know, grabbed some appetizers and cocktail. Um, and then we just came back to my place and, uh, you know, we hung out for a little bit and then um, he got up this morning and went to work. Um, and so I told you guys yesterday that I went to the Hermes store and um, I was getting a bunch of stuff for my bedroom and then I ended up getting a couple of other stuff as well. So I'm going to film an unboxing. I wasn't going to film an unboxing, but I'm going to film an unboxing. Um, and so we're, yeah, we're going to film an unboxing. I'm also trying to do a reel. Let me turn on the lights. Um, I'm also trying to do a reel as well, so um, I'm filming a couple of things at the same time. So I'm vlogging, I'm about to film the unboxing, and then I am going to um, do a reel because why not, right? So I'm doing a couple of things right now, actually, so I'm vlogging, <laughs> and then I'm filming a reel. And then I also want to, you know, do the unboxing. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I still have my natural hair out. I've just been rocking the buns. And honestly, I like it. <laughs> um, but this is probably like the only week you will see me with my, you know, hair out. And then I'm going back to my ugly ass wigs. Okay. Um, but yeah, so because I don't want to damage my hair. Okay, look at my beautiful hair. I'm not damaging it, so I'm going to throw my hair back in a wig for a month and then, or two, and then take it out, wash, blow dry it, keep it out for a week, and do the same thing. And so that's how I've been able to grow my hair. Um, I went live yesterday on Instagram and a couple of girls were asking me. So that's what I've been doing. I have barely been keeping my hair out for the last I want to say um, two years maybe even three years so that is why uh, my hair has been growing and it's super long like you know I'm trying to get my hair back to my um, butt okay <laughs> and it's possible so give me till I'm 30 my hair is gonna be down to my freaking butt <laughs> and that's because I'm just gonna be rocking my wigs and not putting too much heat in my hair and yeah so anyways that's what we're gonna do today we're filming an unboxing and since I already have makeup on my face this is the only thing I hate about doing YouTube <laughs> is the fact that like I have to put makeup on my face and even if I'm not in the mood to go out of the house I feel like I should get out of the house because you know what I mean so yeah so I'm gonna try to film this unboxing I'm gonna try to set up here in my living room area Chanel's making a mess with her freaking bed she rips it off like take out the foam out of it it's just I can't I can't get a dog they said and this is what she does what are you doing huh you guys see all this stuff on the carpet that stuff that came out of her bed what are you doing see <laughs> I'm done with you Chanel done but yeah, anyway, so we're going to unbox all of this and that. Boom. I already started filming my reels, so that's why some of them are, you know, but these two are already opened, but I'm going to unbox those like live on the video. So yeah, and that. So, so that's what we're doing today. And uh, if I am in the mood after, I will go out get a cocktail because it's already pretty late it's seven so you know I can still go out for a drink I had some Jamaican food um, that tattoo daddy picked up yesterday and that's what we have for dinner um, so yeah so let's film this video and then I will come 
Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell Coco. Once I get to 50K subscribers, I'm giving away some money and free access to my Patreon. And all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed, post notifications turned on, and you're commenting down in the uh, comments of my videos also obviously follow me on Instagram um, yeah but if you would like to go ahead and subscribe to my patreon on your own the link is down in my description and I will see you guys there as you can see from the title of this video I am doing a Hermes unboxing video now I did go to the Hermes store yesterday and I shopped and I shopped and I shopped um, I had put in an order for a couple of things and my sales associate reached out to me and said, you know, am I just coming to pick up or am I coming to shop? And I decided that I was going to go and shop. <laughs> um, so that's exactly what I did. I did film a vlog, um, but that's going to go on after this video. And I wasn't going to actually do a Hermes unboxing video like on its own. But then I realized that I actually had quite enough stuff to do an uh, unboxing video on its own. So, I have... <laughs> I have a box full of stuff here. Well, boxes full of stuff here. Um, I'm filming a reel as well. So, that is why these uh, two boxes were already open because... I had to film my reel um, so yeah that is what we're doing here we are unboxing the stuff that I got from Hermes yesterday so let's go ahead and start with the first box so it's a tiny little box and in this box I have see a Hermes belt so I got this cute white Hermes um, this is an Hermes belt in white this is what it looks like this is how you would put it on like this Ooh, hold on yeah, like this, and then you twist it. If you have a Birkin or a Kelly, then you know that this is pretty much how you open your bags. So to close it, you would go this way so that it doesn't, you know, come off. And then to open it, push it to the side. So I got a really nice, cute belt from Hermes, and it is white. This is what it looks like, and it is adjustable. So one size fits all pretty much. Ooh. I'm still uh, learning how to use it myself. I had to get the sales associate to help me. But it is pretty much one size fits all. I needed a belt for one of my dresses. Um, I think if you guys remember my video where me and TD had our anniversary dinner, that dress needed a belt. This would have been a perfect belt for that dress. Um, unfortunately, the day that I was trying to wear that dress I didn't have enough time to go get a belt so I got a belt so next time I can rewear the dress and I can use this belt and style it and you know make it cute the next box is this one it's a little bigger but it's not as big and in here I have a nice beautiful scarf this is what it looks like it's a silk scarf so it's just really really like it feels amazing it's soft oh my god it is so cute and i got a brown one because brown goes with everything right <laughs> um and as you know if you've been watching my channel for quite some time um i do wear quite a lot of nudes browns beige whatever um i also liked it because it has blue on it and as you guys know i have a blue birkin and then it also has like yellowish orange here so i could also rock this with my you know orange birkin if i want but the way the lady at the store basically said it was supposed to be styled is like this 
which is just absolutely stunning. Like, isn't she stunning? Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. So next we're gonna get into the big stuff. Um, and as you guys know from previous vlogs, I got a, well I got two Avalon pillows for my living room and I also got an Avalon blanket for my living room as you can see right there. So I decided that I wanted some for my bedroom as well. So I ended up getting another Avalon pillow for my bedroom. And as you guys know, I'm obviously doing beige cream and everything in my apartment. So I got the same color um, that I have out here for my bedroom. And it's just really cute. It's just an Hermes pillow. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so I got these. I'm going to throw this back here for now. Um, I got another unbox it <laughs> I got another Avalon blanket for my bedroom so same thing same color literally the same blanket just um, it's going to go in my bedroom so this is what it looks like. I'll take her out of the box right now. And yeah, so it's just a nice cashmere pillow. I said pillow. Cashmere blanket for my bedroom. This is actually Chanel's favorite thing to lay on in my living room. So I just know that in the bedroom, she's gonna wanna lay on it. But what I'm gonna do is just basically it's for decoration and then I will take it off um when it's time to go to bed so that she doesn't go jumping on my um stuff but yeah so this is what it looks like it's super cute it's actually pretty big i wouldn't have like guessed that these blankets were gonna be this big because it really it can like cover my body <laughs> so when i lay out here i can actually like cover my entire body and it's actually also really warm. So this is like a perfect blanket for the winter time. Um, yeah, so last but not least. Now this next item is something that I've been wanting forever. I bought it myself. Okay, before everyone gets carried away. I bought it myself thanks to Brooke and Daddy. He got me my first three pre-loved bags. Oh, let me say... You know, he invested <laughs> in getting me my first three Hermes bags. And obviously, like, there's nothing wrong with pre-love. I love a pre-love bag. Um, so, you know, I got three of them. And the thing about pre-love bags is, like, if you really, 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 really want the bag, just buy the bag. You might pay a little extra. You might pay the price of a brand new bag for a 07 bag when you're... Um, buying pre-love so the three bags that i have were pretty much bought at the same price point of what a brand new birkin or kelly would cost they were just pre-loved so um and that was fine with me i love my pre-love bags period but obviously the goal is to get a brand new Birkin or a Kelly. Um, and so I've been dying, 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 dying for one. And I was finally able to get one. So we're going to unbox her. And I will show you guys what it is. Because also another thing, if you get a brand new Birkin or a Kelly, it's basically like 30 grand um, in the resale market. So if you go on Fashion File and look at brand new bags, like 2021 bags and 2022 bags, and I can promise you they are going for like twenty to $30,000 on the Fashion File, um, Rebag, 
um, Trade to see all of these, uh, you know, consignment like online consignment places. I know the real world has a place in New York City, and then I know Fashion File has a place, I believe, in San Francisco because I definitely went there. Um, they also have a, the real world in uh, San Francisco as well. Um, yeah, and they're they're pretty good okay so anyways we're gonna unbox her because i'm super excited um i got her yesterday so we're going to see what she looks like okay so we're gonna open her FYI, I got this bag yesterday, so guarantee you I opened it and then I went on <laughs> I went on YouTube to figure out how to tie it back <laughs> just so I can do this video for you guys. Um but if you watch my if you watch my vlog on Sunday, um you will see like the actual moment I unboxed the bag. Um I'll throw a little snippet in there. But this is what it looks like. Comes with a dust bag. Before I show you guys the bag, I'm gonna show you guys the um, accessories. So you have your raincoat. Then you have something in here. And then in here is the uh, lock and key. So. I believe that's all oh and then obviously a booklet I'm pretty sure this is for maintenance and stuff like that um, so if you want to go ahead and like read through it I guess you can I don't know I'm not doing all of that when I unbox this you guys will know exactly what type of bag it is it comes with a strap this is what the strap looks like so obviously by now you guys know that it's a Kelly <laughs> um, and then this is the lock and keys so let's go ahead and unbox her I'm super excited here is to many more brand new Birkins and Hermes Kelly bags um, thanks to my sales associate <laughs> period so this is her this is her she is a stunning she is a brown Togo leather Hermes Kelly bag So we got a little tag here. I told you guys I unboxed it yesterday. So the tag says that on it. And this is what she looks like. She's a stunning, absolutely stunning. This is the bottom. And she is in the size 28. Size 28. As you guys know, my black Kelly is in the size 32 that was pre-loved this is a brown kelly in the size 28 and this is a brand new kelly and this is perfect because she goes with everything i mean my black one obviously will go with everything too but you guys know i love to wear brown um so this just adds like you know i'm happy i'm happy because now all i need is a birkin 25 in like a more everyday color so i'm hoping for like a black one or for um uh something like cream i don't think i want a white one but like cream honestly i will take anything i was telling my sales associate yesterday i will take anything <laughs> i will take anything but ideally i told her that i want all for a birkin i want a 25 or 30. i don't like the 40 the 40 is too big i'm a skinny girl and so i don't really think i should be walking around with a big ass bag that's 40. 40 is for like if you're traveling and stuff like that 
but um I prefer the 30 um, or the 25 so this is a 28 Kelly um, so it's perfect it's the size it's a size down from my black one um, my black one is a cellier so it's very structured smooth leather um, you can easily scratch that with the togo it's grainy not very easy to scratch um, so that's why this is good for like an everyday use uh, whereas my black one i will have to be really careful with taking that out every day um you know it has to matter like where i'm going to make sure that i don't scratch my bag although i have taken her out quite a few times um but yeah so let's open her up um obviously you guys know how these bags open up you twist them to the side Oh, sorry. And then you open it like that. And then it comes with this little protector thing. This is how you know the bag is brand new, baby. Period. Um, and then this is what it looks like. And this is the inside of the bag. But yeah, so this is what the bag looks like. I would have actually preferred uh, gold hardware, but silver hardware works as well. I can't complain. A Kelly is a Kelly. Um, so yeah, this is what she looks like. It's super cute. Um, if you guys would like for me to compare it with my uh, black one, I can do that. So give me a second, actually. So let's compare the two. So this is my black um, Kelly Cellier. Um, with gold hardware this is what she looks like so she's pre-loved she's brand new um, as you can see she's more slouchy she's more you know she moves as in where she's more structured stiff like that and then as you can, <laughs> um, and as you can also see the leather is very smooth Celia I'm, I'm not sure if it's a the leather is cellier, but I'm pretty sure it's cellier. Um, it's very smooth. There's literally no grains um, on it. So it's very prone to uh, scratches. <laughs> very, very prone to scratches. You don't want to have this bag if you are a very, very active person running errands. Like this is not the bag for that. This is a bag that you take when you're going to a nice little restaurant and you're going to set her down on the chair next to you and, you know, not like scratch her at all. And you can't have like long nails. You can't throw her around. This bag is for the woman who does not have a very active life. If you have an active life, you can get away with having this bag, Togo, because she is not prone to scratches. Um, she slouches. She's easy to, you know, move with, basically. You can take her anywhere, as in where this is more smooth. Um, if you guys have seen my um, orange Birkin, um, and my first ever Birkin, <laughs> go watch that video. Um, I have it, I think, pinned to my profile. That is Swift Leather, which is pretty much close to Cellier Leather. So Swift Leather has a little bit of grain, but not really. It's really, really smooth. It's also very prone to scratches, and that's why I rarely do take out my orange Birkin. But I have been taking out my blue a lot because it's Togo Leather. Um, so you guys are probably going to see me more with her than her now because... Um, I don't want to, you know, get any scratches on her because I think when I got this, there were no scratches in the front. But if you look like I've put a little bit of the scratches that were here. Um, and then Chanel did a little something back here. Um, so yeah, anyways, that is that. I wanted to just show you guys the difference between the two bags, pre-loved, brand new, um, yeah you guys can go on the trade c or fashion file i got all of mine from fashion file um the pre-love bags you guys can go on there to see the price of this bag on resale um 
yeah i'm not gonna throw prices out there anymore because apparently it's distasteful so if you want to figure out how much you can get this pre-loved um on fashion file go ahead this is a size 32 so it's a little bigger than this now this um everyone knows that Hermes retail price starts at about 10 so yeah you can figure out the rest from there but this is she she's beautiful stunning and i'm very happy with her and yeah so yay <laughs> um that is pretty much all the stuff that i got from hermes so yeah <laughs> it is eight o'clock i don't know if i want to go out i'm not sure what i'm feeling like but i know i have makeup on my face and i don't feel like taking it off right now um also today on my <laughs> today on my um instagram i gave away some money to four people i was giving away four hundred dollars because i was just feeling very generous today um because you know the devil be trying to work but god <laughs> and i'm not even really christian i'm not really like a whole because you know obviously i'm a sugar baby um slash ho slash whatever you want to call it so i want to really consider myself to be like christian like hallelujah type um but one thing i do believe is in karma and a higher power and so i just feel like i'm honestly just a nice person and i've just been getting blessed regardless of what you know people are trying to do um and people are working hard the devil is working hard trust me okay we're not really gonna talk about it but the devil is working hard but it's not working so whatever um so i gave away some money on my instagram today i gave away four hundred dollars go follow me on uh my uh instagram because you might one day too get the chance to uh make some money from me okay i was a sugar mama for a couple of girls today on my um instagram so yeah i actually have one more person to send money to and i'm trying to send it to someone in africa um i sent money to three people that are i think in the u.s or in the uk that have cash app so i want to send some to someone in africa but they only have paypal and then i think some were saying like mobile payment or something like that but i don't really know how to do that but whatever um but yeah so that is what is going on today um i've been in the house all day so i don't know i don't know if i want to get out of the house was i out yesterday yeah duh, i went shopping yesterday <laughs> um so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do today i wasn't out at night yesterday though i was at home so maybe that's why i feel like i've been in the house in the last two days i went out during the day i did shopping and stuff like that and i literally got back in from chicago yesterday morning as well um so honestly i've really been out but i don't know why i feel like i've been in the house maybe it's because i was in the house all day today but anyways so I don't know what I have planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm going to edit my um, unboxing video that I recorded. Try to post that up. And then I honestly need to run and do some grocery shopping tomorrow. Or maybe I'll just Instacart it or something. Um, but I know I need some dish soap. Some toilet paper. Some paper towels. Some... I'll, I need a lot of stuff. So I think tomorrow we're going to go to the grocery store i need to go to target honestly i am not a target girl but i want to be a target girl because i always see the girls going to target so i'm gonna go to target i kind of want some pillows for my couch i need more pillows um so i'm gonna go to target and see see if i can find anything because the girls are always in target so i don't know but i will figure out if i want to get out of the house and i will come back and let you guys know if not i will see you in the morning so I am dressed and I am headed out 
and yeah i really don't think i'm doing like a freestyling but i'm gonna go have a drink or two um so i just wanted to show you guys my outfit i have this little um crop cardigan on i think i got from aritzia or zara but i'm pretty sure it's zara the jeans are zara i have on my ysl black heels my neighbor upstairs has fucking kids that run around in the house all freaking a day and i'm annoyed i'm annoyed um so if you hear all that running around is my neighbor upstairs i literally had to use a stick and hit it and to tell her to please have her kids like quiet down she's so rude she's so rude like you live in an apartment building sis this is not a house you should not have your kids running around when you know that people live below you anyways taking my kelly with me and uh yeah so let's go out and uh see what the night brings but got my chanel earrings cartier that's it so yeah. can't never say you want it. Girls can't never say you want it. Girls can't never say you want it. been all over the place girl <laughs> I've just been in the house basking in my own energy and minding my business um everything I said I was gonna do I never did it I think I said I was gonna go to Target never went um I actually went out a few times did not I literally intended on bringing my camera but I ended up leaving my camera so yeah <laughs> and then I filmed my um, my unboxing and I was like, you know, I'm going to post this and then I just never did. And today is Sunday. I'm supposed to be posting this vlog technically and I'm not doing it because you know why? I am headed to go on a boat. Go on a boat. It's that time of the year again. My favorite time of the year in Boston. And so I hit up my little... Yacht boat daddy. <laughs> um, it's not a yacht, it's a boat, but either way, I'm about to go me on a boat, sit in the sun, relax, have a couple of drinks, and just have a good time. I will show you guys my outfit. I just have on these uh skorts because it's a skirt in the front shorts in the back let me turn off this light and i have on a black top and i have my brown hermes um sandals and i'm taking my uh, ysl bag because can't bring anything expensive with me to the beach or the pool um last year i lost my cartier ring i mean i have all my cartier on me right now and I have Chanel earrings but last year the ring I had on that TD got me it was a little loose so I don't know what happened I don't know I guess the wind just took it either way that's what we're doing we're going on a boat so I'm bringing you guys along I'm not gonna forget my camera today um yeah and then we're gonna come back home and 
that's pretty much it. That's our Sunday. I have on this black top and then my bottoms are yellow. You guys will see them once I get there. But that is how I am going to go on a yacht or in a boat <laughs> whatever you want to call it i call them yachts okay i'm always gonna call it a yacht it could be a small boat i'm gonna call it a yacht okay i'm going on it I'm on a yacht. <laughs> yacht daddy. I'm on a yacht. I got me a yacht daddy. 